so <clears throat> so I'm not wet anymore but I was wet okay so I have a story time about being wet story time kind of except it's gonna be a boring story okay so last night I worked super late I worked till like 10 30 but, you know, it's not, like, a super hard thing to do. I was just running this big job. All I have to do is load paper once in a while. It's not a problem. I was just sitting there chilling. And then today I get in at, like, a regular time. And the day went pretty smoothly. I just ran kind of the same job still and other jobs on the other machine. And I left at about 6. And the weather had originally... First of all, I hate talking about weather. And I actually think that no one should ever be allowed to talk about weather. Because it's the most boring, germane, mundane, fucking bullshit thing to talk about. I hate small talk. Just don't fucking talk to me if you're going to do small talk, okay? But now I'm going to do small talk with myself, okay? The weather was like rain, probably. But it only rained in the morning, and it stopped, and then all the way through until... Uh, until, um, about 5.30... It was not raining at all. And it was, then it was drizzling very slightly. No problem. So, 6 o'clock, I put my raincoat on. Although it's not a full 100% raincoat. Well, it is. It's, it's a Heli Henson. <clears throat> it's lined with rubber. Or, not, total, not like regular total rubber, but like some high-tech bullshit combination of stuff. And then on the outside, it's like a poly, uh, like a nylon combination, whatever. So it's supposed to be 100% waterproof. And it pretty much is. Although I found out today, some, there's a couple places, like in the corners of the front pockets, right at the corner where the zippers are, it's not quite waterproof there. But it is pretty much waterproof, 100%. Anyway. So I, I walk from, from the, my work to the train station is about a 10 minute walk. So I'll either, if I'm taking my bike, I'll ride over and then ride somewhere, I'll take, and then I'll take the train to where I need to go and then I'll ride somewhere else from there. Or I'll ride home from there or I'll go on a ride from there or whatever. Or... If I'm going to go out to uh, my bar or go out somewhere, I'll walk to the train. And so it's 10 minutes to walk to the train, not a big problem. I leave, it's drizzling slightly, but like barely raining. I go two minutes and it just fucking pours. Like, downpour. So I had my raincoat on. But I just had regular running shoes on, regular jeans on. By the way, that reminds me, I bought two pairs of jeans today. Let me, let me get back to that in a moment. So, this is a really long way to say I got soaked in like two seconds. And then I get to the train station. I had to walk in the rain for like ten minutes. So I got, I was soaked immediately, but then I had to keep walking. And it's really weird, like I had my phone in one of the pockets, I had my wallet in one of the pockets, <clears throat> and everything else is soaked. And the two front pockets, I noticed they're like leaking right at the front corner where the zipper is, so I moved my phone to like the breast pocket and my wallet to the other breast pocket. And, but when you're like totally, when the whole coat is totally soaked and you're soaked and it's pouring rain, you can't really like pull anything out. Cause it's just gonna get soaked right away and your hands are soaked. Anyway, I get to the train station and 
I was on time for the train, 6.30 train. 6.30 train's canceled. For no good reason, it just says canceled. The whole train system's fucking bullshit. Everything's late, everything gets canceled or delayed. So it's 6.30, but the 6.30 train's canceled. The next train is 6.58. So I, I, I'm soaked, but I just go into the thing and I go to tap my card. My train card. Presto card. The card is not there. And then I think, I'm like, why the hell isn't it there? Did I lose it? Did it fall out of my wallet or something? And then I remember yesterday when I was getting off the train, I took the card out of my wallet and then put the wallet back in my pocket for some reason. I was just holding the card and I just tapped the card. And then after I stuck the card into my front pocket of my pants, again, no reason. I never do this. I have all my routines for my regular, like, keys, wallet, phone, earbuds, things that I carry on a regular basis. I have, like, I either have them in certain pockets on my coat, or certain places in my bag, or, and I have, like, a whole, or a certain spot on my desk where I keep everything, key, keys and st all that stuff. I keep everything in the morning in certain places on my desk, and then they go into certain pockets in my pants, or, or wherever. So I have all these systems to, to, so that I never forget things and lose things. But for some reason I broke the system one time. And of course then I forgot my fucking card. So I had to go and buy a manual ticket. And then I had to go. And then when I got off the train, it's like a short, like two... Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hello? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the problem. No, it'll keep going from, so that's, I have it set so it'll, it'll pick, take it from any tray, so, tray three is fine. No, no, this, this is all, it's all new, it, it, it measures the registration pa past the point of the tray. So it's, it's the same. Okay, good. So, yeah, I was, yeah, we're still having problems with Tray 4. Courtney had, I, he know, he, he knows about it, but, you know, he, he spent so long the other day working on the other stuff that we didn't really get to it. He had to go to an installation or something. So, I'm going to get back on him about the Tray 4. Um, I was loading it up all throughout the day and it was okay. It's really, it's sporadic. Uh, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It just does that once in a while. Okay, great. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Okay, so that was my boss. We were just talking about paper stuff. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? Okay, I got, yeah, I got wet. All of that could be summarized by I got wet. And then I got off the train... I had to get onto the so I, I was originally going to go out to the bar, but since I got totally soaked, I was like, well, I don't really want to go out when I'm totally soaked. So, I got off, and I had to get onto the subway, and it's like a two-minute walk from the train to the subway, I, but I, it was still pouring, so I got soaked again. And then I, since I didn't have my card, it's the same card for the train and the... And the Presto card is the same for the train and the and the street cars and subways. So since I didn't have my card, I had to fucking manually buy a fare for the subway as well. So two manual buys. Then I get on. 
Alright, and I was able to catch the subway and the bus. And then I got home. But I hadn't, throughout all that, I didn't have, I didn't pick up cigarettes and I didn't have enough for the rest of the night because I was planning on doing my, uh, some drink, drinking tonight. So since I was already soaked, I walked over to the corner store, but I, first I stopped, stopped at home and I got an umbrella, a really, really, really big umbrella, which I like. I actually love the rain. I love the atmosphere of rain and the condition, like the, the moody atmosphere. It reminds me of like film noir movies and stuff. So I actually love rain if you have like a cool, good coat, which I did have, but it was really soaked and everything, and a good umbrella, which I did have now for this last little trip. Huge umbrella. So I walk over to the corner store with my huge umbrella and I hold it like real down close to my head which was cool, and I wanted to film some stuff uh, while, I, I, while I was out with the umbrella, but I only filmed a few seconds of it. And so, then I got back and I took off my wet clothes, and I put on my, this shirt, and some pants, and I poured myself a drink with my new, um, with my new jiggers here, and I had always just eyeballed my, my pores in the past, I'd always just eyeballed them, and it turns out the one ounce was uh, quite substantially less than what I would always pour for myself, usually. So that might explain why I go through uh, gin so fast. <laughs> but anyways, I'm doing like one and a half pour for myself. And uh, yeah, that's all. I, 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 I was gonna go out, but I didn't get to go out. I just came back because I was so but I will probably, I don't know what the weather, that's two weather infractions. I like how, do you like how I started the video talking about how you should never talk about weather and then I've talked about weather the whole time? So tomorrow I'll go out. Oh, pants, I was going to talk about pants for a second. I bought, I always wear G-Star raw pants mostly. The Revenge. 3D dark aged, uh, like rat waxed pants is my normal model that I buy. And I just ripped a pair in a crotch, which is where they always go out on me. But to be fair, I sometimes I just have like one pair going and they just wear the one pair every single day. And of course you're going to wear them out if you wear them every, uh, every single day. So I have a few pairs of black Levi's that are like okay. I could put those into the rotation, but I went on to G-Star Raw and I bought a couple pairs. I bought one pair of the Revenge Super Skinny Slim, whatever they are, waxed model, which is what I always wear, and then I bought, uh, there was a sale on, so I looked through a few pairs, and when there's a sale on, there's never any, like the popular size is like I'm a 29 waist, um, when there's a sale on popular sizes are like usually sold out or close to sold out or whatever But I found a pair. I don't remember exactly what the model is. Let me just have a look here I did find another pair that I liked With that had like a zip up the side and like that one thing I really really like in jeans is where there's like a, a Basically like a knee patch where it's kind of constructed in a way where it's kind of shaped around your knees and stuff and there's like an extra layer of, <clears throat> you know, like an extra layer of denim or even just an extra seam of denim above and below the knee and even, and, or like, and mid-knee. I just like the whole shaped, sculpted uh, look. So anyway. Um, okay. 
right, oh, here it is. So this, that's my regular model. The model that I always get. The Riven Skinny Jean, and those are waxed, and those are really nice. And then this was the new ones that I found. You can't really see them in this picture at all. But it, they're called Rackham DC Zip Super Slim. So they have a zipper like up the side. They have that patch thing on the knee that I like. And then they have a zipper from there up here. And you catch, there's the, so there's the regular pocket where a jeans pocket would be. And then below that there's a zipper up the side where the seam would be. And you can put stuff in there too. So that's kind of like a cool little uh, bit of hardware. I kind of, I like hardware on pants too. As long as it's not, not like too ridiculous or crazy. These are also black, which I generally only wear black jeans. Although I do have a pair of opening ceremony. No, not opening ceremony. Um, no, yes, opening ceremony. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a pair of blue jeans by somebody, and I'm trying to remember what they are now. Cheap Monday, sorry. They're Cheap Monday. The Cheap Monday, I have a regular pair of like blue jeans, like light dad jeans, um, and I, I've never worn them. So. But I, I like either black stuff or white stuff. So, for example, jeans, I usually wear black jeans, but I also like white jeans. I usually wear black shirts, but I also like white shirts and I have a bunch of white shirts too and even with like I usually wear black boots <clears throat> like black leather boots I have a couple pairs of fry leather black leather boots that I like um, <clears throat> but I also like um, I like white converse and I like certain pairs of white shoes um, most pairs of white shoes they'll get fucked up and dirty immediately and then they'll be like gross but with Converse, I do buy white Converses, and then even when they get fucked up and dirty, they're still kind of a cool, grungy look that they get when they're dirty, so I'm okay with them getting dirty. So I wear white Converse sometimes, and I wear all black Converse sometimes, and I do like, I do like some Nike running shoes and stuff certain models and I do have a few pairs but that kind of does sometimes it works with my like all black grungy guy aesthetics and sometimes it doesn't and on that note I've been meaning to pick up a uh, like a leather biker bomber biker jacket for a really long time one with like a lot of hardware and zippers and stuff on it but, like, I'm not really willing to pay, like, an extremely high amount of money for a new, like, cool designer one. But I also have never, never look in thrift stores or anything to try to find a cool used one. So, obviously, I'm never going to find one if I continue the, like that. So, I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Anyways, okay, bye.